So I recently built a town in Blocksburg and in today's episode I invited one of my subscribers to help build the first establishment in the town which is, drumroll please, a cat cafe. Yes, we are building a cafe for cats. I mean this town is named after my cats after all. So if you guys want a chance to be in a future video like this, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and comment which building you'd like to help out with with your Roblox username. Okay, so as you can see over here, this is Gabby. She recommended me to do a cat cafe so I invited her on to help me. Because what's better than one builder? Two builders. I don't know if I should call her Gabby or Abby. Because she's literally dressed as Abby Lee Miller right now. <laughs> and who do I see as soon as I get in the door? Abby Lee Miller in her wheelchair. Okay, first we need to figure out where on earth we're going to be putting this cat cafe. I think we're going to put the cat cafe right here. So then that way, as soon as you walk into Salem side, you're greeted with a beautiful cat cafe. And there's also a few things that I've added since last episode. Um, AKA an underground parking lot, a bus stop, and a very suspicious statue that I will not be showing this episode because it is not done. Oh, uh, what's in the box? Okay, so let's finally get started, shall we? I was talking to Gabby and I think we came up with the idea of a cute little Parisian coffee shop. So we can make it six blocks and have a little balcony at the front here. I invite you guys on to build my town. You guys have co-owner to my entire town. Like if you wanted to, you could just delete the whole thing. Pretty much how this is gonna be working is me and Gabby are gonna be building together and we're just gonna try and bounce off of each other's building skills. I think she wanted me to focus on the exterior and her focus on the interior. Let's ask, would you like me to, me to sketch a what? What was wrong with that sentence? That's bullshit. How do I say this? Uh, me map out. That made no sense. Me use lines to map out floor plan. <laughs> Hopefully she understood that. I'm extremely confused. All right, for our cat cafe, I kind of want to have like a blush cafe. So we can have like wide at the bottom. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Full wall panels. And then the top bit here can be like pink. Oh, <gasps> wait, that's cute. I like that. Pink cafes are kind of cute. I'm not going to lie. I've actually never been to a cat cafe in my life. I didn't even know those things existed. But now that I do, I will be going to one. What's like a nice door? I feel like these traditional doors kind of suit the vibe. And if we wanted to, we could actually lift this up. And then this way we can have a balcony at the front. I can make the balcony just an extension of the footpath. Is she cute? or whatever. Oh, these fabric awnings? Yes. 100% we are so using them. And we need a big sign at the front that says Salem Cafe because that is what we're going to be calling this cafe. Someone made me an adorable decal of Salem's Cafe. You best believe that is exactly what we're going to be using. Don't get me wrong, cat cafes do sound really cute. What if you add a cafe and there was just a cat like doing a poo? We need some big fancy traditional pillars to give it some structure. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I'm so nervous to place things. I feel like Gabby is like intensely watching me like... <laughs> Watching you, I also want to have a few brick shelves up here with some hanging flowers. Because remember, we are going with a cute cafe, so I'm expecting lots of greenery, lots of flowers, lots of bibs, lots of bobs. Oh my gosh, I forgot how expensive these plants are. They're like $240. Gabby just entered build mode. Was she not in build mode before? Some of your artworks, by the way, that you showed me for the town is insane. If you want to show me like your artworks, you can either send it to me like on my Discord server or on my Instagram. Okay, now for the plants, we could use just like green plants plants but um i'm feeling like we should have some cute lavender plants actually you know what would be kind of cute hold on let me let me cook let him um what is happening with gabby right now <laughs> what just happened okay now that i'm looking at it i think i should change the bottom bit give it more structure because right now it's given flat it's giving paper yo where is gabby she told me to get out of building i don't know where she is okay well gabby disconnected so while gabby comes back i'm gonna work on the front a little bit i'm also thinking upstairs here we can have a little balcony moment Ooh la la classic fences you know when you go to like a restaurant and they have a lots of flowers around the place i want it to make it feel like that instead of using these boring outdoor tables we're gonna be using custom tables. I'm obsessed with making my seats like lifelike. What I mean by lifelike is instead of having them like this, you kind of put them all like messy like this and it kind of looks like someone's lived there. What do we need on the table? We need some napkins, obviously some mugs because this is a cafe. I also put a book out here in case people want to come to the cafe and you know, journal their thoughts. That actually seems so cute though. Like why do I low key want to do that? Just go to a cafe and journal. I was just thinking last night, I wonder how much this town is going to be. Because if you know me, I'm one of expensive builder. Like one build usually costs me like 300k so keep in mind there's like over 10 buildings in here so um yay. And we should probably have like a menu out here so people like know what to order. So we can have a folded door frame right here with some plants. Okay and then finally the roof. Sometimes I just let my friends on my neighborhood while I build and they say the most random stuff. Be a bee. What does that mean? Guys I'm kind of lonely right now. I'm kind of just here by myself. Actually you know what would be cute if 
if I added a little umbrella on the table. Okay, and I think the outside is all done. Let's see what Gabby has done so far. So far, Gabby has added a decal and a door. Okay, so I guess what we can do is work on some custom windows. So what I love to do is put one clear window like this, another one on the top but half it, and then place a half round window. And oh, you thought I was done? No, I'm not. Then go in with some structural square beams. And as you can see, we have a very cute custom made window. Okay, and I'm pretty sure I wanted this to be like a balcony. And because this is going to be a cat cafe, we can make this out of grass. And we'll also make this bottom section out of grass as well. Okay, I want this outdoor section to be kind of cutesy. Actually, you know what we need to add out here? A food and water bowl. So that can be the water. And then that can be the food. <laughs> that is so cute. Guys, I'm kind of worried about Gabby. She hasn't came on yet. And I'm still very lonely out here. Also, cats love like climbing on top of things. So what we're going to do is have a few of these oak shelves around the place. Salem, for example, loves climbing on top of everything. Okay, I think that is the outdoor section all done. Detailed flooring because we are fancy. I want to make this like the cutest storage unit you've ever seen. Like some vases would be nice. We can have our stack of coffee mugs. We need some jugs. Mugs? Jugs? What are they called? Boom! They're called jars. Yes, we need some jars up here. So we can have our sugar and our coffee and our tea. Oh, what about some goodie bags? If you ever been to like a fancy cafe, they'll have some like goodie bags. I love how I'm adding everything on this shelf except for, um, I don't know, a coffee machine. I just, who was that? I swear I just saw someone jump. I'm going crazy. Surprise, shawty! Okay, I guess our cute little coffee machine can go right there. Gabby, oh Gabby, where are you? I'm getting lonely. Oh wait, I love that color palette. <gasps> Am I going to change the entire color theme of my cat cafe because of them books? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. Okay, what else do people have in their cafes? Oh my god, I'm trying to find what they call. They're called like juice bars or something. If you could see my face right now, I'm very, very focused on finding these things. And I feel like an insane person because I cannot find them. Wait, maybe they're in appliances? Oh my, they're in appliances. Girl, why? Anyway, I'm going to add three of these glass beverage dispensers. And then lastly, a photo frame of Salem. We need a gate for like my workers to come in and out of. And every cafe needs those really big commercial display cases where we can show our cute little muffins. I, I can't see what I'm doing. Get some lights up in here. Thank you. Ugh, those lights are disgusting, but I'm going to get rid of them soon. Okay, I promise. Oh, should we just use a toy cash register? That's cute. It actually makes sense because in Salem Cafe, no one pays. Everyone eats for free or you can eat buffet. Okay, we'll put the computer here so Salem can write down your order. And over on this section, this is where you pick up your foods. Okay, guys, Gabby couldn't make it back, but instead we have Dom here and they're going to help me finish the cat cafe. <laughs> oh my gosh, hopefully Dom doesn't question the lighting right now. I promise I'm going to fix that. I was shocked, honey. I was in tears almost. Okay, I wonder what Dom's going to work on because I've been working on on this kitchen section for a little bit. I wonder if they'll add like a cat statue or something. That would be kind of cute. Oh, considering this is literally a cafe, we'll need some drink dispensers, this little condiment dispenser, and finally our coffee machine. As this kitchen is like pretty spacious, I feel like we can definitely fit like a counter in the middle so we can like chop up stuff. Okay, now it's time to fix this god awful lighting. I feel like some pendants in here would look nice because I don't want it to be one of those like really bright cafes. I want it to be very cozy. Okay, and I'm also going to like knock down this wall here and then this back here is just going to be an extension of the kitchen so obviously we'll need a fridge i'm feeling like two ovens instead of one and a big fat sink oh dom what are you working on oh <gasps> oh my days he's building a cat statue i'm so excited i'm so excited after this video, I want to go to a cat cafe just myself because you know what? Do you want to know something really sad? My best friend is actually allergic to cats. I know. So I reckon we can finally start working on the seating. So again, I'm going to copy these oak shelves. This is where the cats are going to kind of run around and roam. See, that is cute. I can just picture a cat just chilling. And then obviously a bunch more photos of cats. Meow, meow, meow. And I want this section here to be a booth where you can kind of just like sit, have a coffee and play with the cats. So we can have a ton of pillows here and make it very, very comfortable. If I had a reading nook in my room, I would literally be on it all the time. Oh my God, look at Dom. Dom is going off. Dom, Dom understood the assignment. Dom, you are killing it. Another build hack is if I want to make it more light in here without showing like a bunch of lights, I just go in the basement and add a ton of lights down here. And as you can see, it kind of lightens 
up the place, but you can't see where the lights are coming from. For the seats, I'm actually gonna copy the ones from outside. We're only gonna have like minimal seating downstairs because most of the seating option is gonna be focused on upstairs anyway. So we just have two seats like this and then a few booths by the window. We're gonna have a laptop on this booth just in case people wanna study while they're at the cafe. Oh my God, you know what this cafe is reminding me of so far? You know, I don't know if you guys have watched the show Emily in Paris, but like low key, that is what it's reminding me of. Okay, I'm gonna leave this little bit empty so Dom can finish it off with his little cat stands. And now we can work on the second story. So the first thing I wanna do is have a booth in the corner. And for the booths, we're gonna use these new benches that Bloxburg added. This can be one of those like big event tables. You know how people have like big birthday parties? Oh my God, you know what I always see in cat cafes? These hanging chairs and the cats are like hanging off them. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna let Dom finish up the top and see what he comes up with. Cause I think I've done a lot downstairs and um, and I really wanna see what he comes up with. Cause I don't know, it'll be like a little surprise for me. Okay, so the cat cafe is all complete and I'm super excited to show you guys the end result. Dom done such an amazing job and I'm really excited. I don't know why I'm holding the cat like that. Like, <laughs> why does it look like I'm strangling it? It's terrifying. So the outside is pretty cute. We have like a little seating area here. Dom, why are you just standing, sit here with me? Dom. So yeah, this is where you and your friends just like sit by the cafe, play with the cats. It's a total vibe. Also, a few of you guys actually did make these decals. So full credits to those who made the decals. Like look how incredible these decals are. And then over this side here, we have, oh my gosh, Dom added. Is this poo? Dom. Oh my God, I didn't realize Dom added this. He added kitty litter. That is incredible. Did I just say that's incredible? Okay. I prioritize that over cat beds. Yeah, as you should, honestly. And then over here, we have more outdoor seating. Wow, this is great. You know, if you just want to, relax have a coffee and just like smell cat poo you can welcome to salem side i guess okay and then coming inside i'm actually obsessed with how this inside turned out it's so cute it's giving like 2020 blush vibes the people who done like the decals around the place done such a good job as well like look how cute these are salem's cup of coffee and then someone done like a whole menu and as you can see dom worked really hard on these cat stands like i low-key just want to be a cat and use them we stand the black cat we love black cats honestly i want a black cat so this is where we order our food as you can see it's fully packed for when we have the opening so this is where you get your order taken back here we have like the kitchen and all of our supplies and we even have a photo of me and dom at the front two construction workers over here and this is kind of like a booth where we can sit and like play with the cats and over here dom added another cat stand are you kidding me look how incredible this is honestly dom for president let's be honest and now coming up to the second floor as you can see it turned out pretty amazing like it's very very cozy it's definitely giving cozy cafe vibes and dom even added like two more cat stands this one's my personal favorite like look look at these you are a wizard dom look at me look at me look at me look at me you're a wizard you're a wizard harry me when the cat matches my hair oh my god twins so yeah we have a bunch of seating options a massive booth here if you want to come to the cat cafe with your family and then out here oh cat loaf and then out here is kind of just say this is just like a balcony i didn't really have room to add like more seats so yeah it's kind of just a balcony whoa don't careful you're gonna fall well, i guess we can like park all our way over nope we cannot so yeah if we follow the hallway down here we have the last bit of the cat cafe which is just like an outdoor seat it's so boring out here i gave up at this point all right don't don't look in here don't look in here so yeah that is the cat cafe all complete the total town value so far is three hundred and fifty two thousand dollars and it has only just begun i spent like 40k on cat trees honestly as you should so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed episode two of my town series a big thank you to dom for helping out today hey keep still keep still dom i'm trying to Keep still. Dominique. Dom, if you don't keep still right now, I'm trying to bloody get your photo. Keep still. Dom. Oh my gosh. I gotcha. A big thank you to Dom for helping me out with today's build. I honestly would not be able to do it without him. And a big thank you to you guys for creating these awesome decals and watching the town series. So make sure to comment what building you'd like to see next. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.